Ready to roll on day two. Where are we heading? Latina. Latina. Where's our Airbnb? Terracina. Terracina. Here we come. Day two. Wednesday 10th of May on our second day and we've got uh, possibly a bit of rain today it was 14 overnight and we've got uh, maybe a top of 22 well we're off the beaten path already we're going through a farmland so hopefully it doesn't lead us to a dead end again, like yesterday. How's this for Italian? Olives on the right, grapes on the left. We're doing our first backtrack already. So the track was just underwater for about 30 meters. So I'm gonna go back up and reroute around this section. We had a bit of rain last night, unfortunately. Was, uh, the track wasn't too bad, but it was just waterlogged. But we'll find a way around it. Well, we had to backtrack about a K and we're on uh, back, on, back on a bitumen road, which will take us around that section. Bit of mucking around, but that's what happens. Well, the rain caught us. We're just getting our wet weather gear on and we're gonna look for a cafe. Have a bit of supplementary breakfast and uh, yeah, get out of this weather. Doing another little detour to go around some muddy, a muddy section. Eurovelo is testing us today. It's a bummer because it would have been a great route with no rain, but it's a bit. Uh, it's not. Just sections are so muddy that it's just not doable underwater, massive puddles, no real way around it. But anyway, still having fun. Pouring down rain and I'm still having fun. Well, we've uh, made a bit of an adjustment to the route because the Airbnb is much further than we thought. So we're going to do a more direct route to the Airbnb. We've got another 40 k's to go. We're on the home stretch. And we're finally off the busy road we were on. And we're on our alternate route that Dad created before we left.
Well, this is making me feel at home. We've got the road lined with eucalypts, gum trees. Terracina has a rich history dating back to pre-Roman times with evidence of settlements from the 6th century BC. The city was a prominent Roman port along the Appian Way and remnants of its Roman past, including an amphitheatre and a temple dedicated to Jupiter Anxa, can still be explored. Terracina's strategic location made it a crucial point in various historical conflicts. Today, visitors are drawn to its historical sites, beautiful beaches and the picturesque Monte Sassio National Park nearby making it a captivating destination that bridges the past and the present. This is pretty awesome. This is awesome. According to some scholars, this building dates back to about 50 BC and should be identified with the temple dedicated to the Capitoline Triad. Jupiter, Juno, and Minerva. 50 BC. Wow. Well, we've found our Airbnb. It's a bit of a mission, but in a pretty awesome historical place. Finally in bed, that was another epic day. Had a fantastic meal, had the calzone and pizza. We couldn't even eat it all, we were so full. We had snacks, we had cheese and olives and bread before we went. What a day, Ex absolutely exhausted. Do it all again tomorrow. Just some quick route notes. This is where we had to turn around and go back up to the road. The route actually follows around here and back onto this road. And it was just not doable because there was a fence on one side and thick scrub on the other. There was just no way around the water and it was it looked deep. And we think we decided after we got back onto the road here, this is the actual route. We decided to stay on the road because we'd had that much rain and it was pouring at the time and we just decided it would be easier rather than keep backtracking to just stay on the on the road but other than the water i'm sure the route would have been fine and i can't really speak for this section because we didn't ride it we just ran out of time with all the mucking around with backtracking and riding on wet off-road tracks we just wanted to get there and not be rolling into town at seven or eight o'clock at night. So we made a beeline down here. This was very heavy traffic, but um, once we got on here, this was fine. The route comes down to Terracina, sorry, San Felice, and then we'd have to reload the next route and ride around, and it was just too far. But uh, yeah, this was fine. <laughs>